As the world advances, there is a growing demand for energy to pump this growth. A carrier of this technological revolution is the lithium-ion battery used in electronics, rechargeable batteries, and electric cars. These batteries typically contain a positive electrode, or the cathode, made of lithium oxide, and a negative electrode, or the anode, typically made of graphite. A good substitute for the anode in this cyclic reaction is silicon, known for its high lithium-ion storage capacity. However, this strategy has a disadvantage. When silicon accepts ions, it tends to expand up to four times, and this rapid expansion introduces cracks into the anode, ultimately reducing the conductivity and storage capacity. One way to resolve this is to add carbon to the silicon to enhance the plasticity. However, these methods are costly and time-consuming, limiting the scope of their translation into the industry. A group of researchers from Korea Maritime and Ocean University present a curious technique to address this problem. By inserting metal wires into the silicon and carbon precursor solution, they induce a bipolar current pulse into the solution. This forces the ions into a directional flow, resulting in a large yield of silicon nanoparticles which preferably discharge into carbon, forming the coveted silicon carbon composite. Simultaneous production of silicon nanoparticles and their deep dispersion into carbon significantly reduces the production time and cost while achieving stable performance. Apart from buffering the expansion, the carbon in the composite forms conductive networks and favors the transfer of ions. By reducing the cost and increasing yield, such work allows possible translation into a widespread application. Additionally, owing to the significantly lower rates of carbon emission, these batteries with high energy storage capacity can be instrumental in shaping our sustainable future.